All right, so I don't know what I'm gonna do here, but I'm recording a post at the moment, so <laughs> things may feel and sound a little different because, you know, I'm working on a different mic other than something, you know, my PC, essentially. I'm not using that at the moment. But you wanna know why exactly? Well, <laughs> long story short, this game kinda sucks, if that makes any sense. Like, it, it refuses to be recorded for, I don't know, more than three minutes or so. Wait, I'm surprised I still managed to get out this much footage with how straining gameplay is. Like, it's not even the cutscenes or anything, it's just like, the gameplay. Like, when we get there, you'll, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, the game is too active, if that makes any sense. It's sort of like, what can I compare this to? Like, I want to say No More Heroes. I mean, this is directed by Suda51 after all, but yeah. You know, the heavy use of overlays and things of that sort, it's sort of murders my PC because, you know, ugh. But yeah, as you've seen, like, a few seconds ago, yeah, this game is made by Grasshopper, you know, the same studio that did, like, God Hand and, like, you know, beautiful joke. Why am I saying you know a lot? <laughs> but, oh, this, this game... See, 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 I'm recording in post, so I'm already, re I'm running out of stuff to talk about already. <laughs> but, uh, if you haven't seen the show, it's, you know, the Edo period. Of a journey, searching for the samurai who smells of sunflowers. Accompanying her on this trip are Mugen and Jean, two samurais who she came across by chance, let's say. This and is basically a recap of the, the show so of far. Drifting along, going wherever fate will take them. The time is the Edo period, a time of peace. It is no longer the age of the samurai. In fact, these days, seeing a samurai wandering alone is a pretty unusual. I want to say these are well animated for just recaps of the events of the show. You know what I mean? <laughs> but Jesus Christ! So that's why we're traveling together. Yeah, right. As if. I'm oh God, <laughs> Mugen did not make the jump 3D very well. Assassins. They kill master swordsmen, and they kill ordinary warriors by the dozens. Then they get hungry. Wait, this is hilarious. You thought the game froze? No, that's actually what happens. Spend some money. They eat some food. Food gets abducted, and then they kill some more. <laughs> they get hungry, then they kill some more. <laughs> We're killers. We're the heroes of the story. And that's basically how this journey has gone. <laughs> if you didn't notice already, this is a voice actor for Kakashi. It, yeah, Kakashi Hadake from like Naruto. Taking many, Same many dude. detours along the way. Mugen, Jean, and Fu zigzag across the archipelago, taking on anyone and everyone in the country who gets in their way. And finally, at long last, they reach their destination of Nagasaki, and then... Well, perhaps it's best at this point to rewind our tale of these three travelers. So now, a whole new chapter is about to be revealed. Get ready, everyone. Another Samurai Champloo adventure is about to begin! <laughs> begin! steps and I'm gonna die okay that's Jin by the way they, they mispronounced his name to be Jean for some reason but yeah that that dude in the blue uh that guy in the red is J Mugen I was about to call him Jin <laughs> oh my god okay the one in the pink is Fu if you didn't know that already but yeah Free food? That's a lie. You know it is. And this dude is totally picking him in the freaking butt with that stick. <laughs> like, if he just hit him upside the head, he'd probably fall off the ship better, but you know. 
didn't think about that, did he? Now, Mugen's voice in this game, you know, he's Liam O'Brien when he should really be, you know, Spike Spiegel's voice actor, essentially, or Uchimaru, you know, like, he should be Steve Bloom, but he's not. He's like the voice actor of Zazz in, like, Sonic Lost World, so yeah. That happened because they couldn't, you know, they couldn't get him, they just gotta stand him. But yeah, you know how this goes, it's sort of directed like a movie because Suda51, you know, the, you have the beginning and you got like the, the, the what do they call these? The beginning, no, 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 opening credits, that's what they are. And those birds are like animated so jank. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, hold, hold on, hold on. I know I got some more stuff to talk about, like, let me... Let me pull out the case in the manual because this is literally the only recording that I could possibly have to explain everything that's going on with this game because, uh, long story short, I don't think I'll be able to record more gameplay of this, like, at all. Wait, I've tried it, like, seven times only to have my footage corrupt, so, yeah, just know... This is the only recording session if I don't figure this out. And crap, I gotta fix that right now. Battery level is low. I, I can't have my controller die in here. I'm out of here. I agree. I can handle it. Help me! Yeah, we're in the winter, dude. We got frozen freaking hard nipples up in here but i don't even know where that came from but i don't know where that came from i should probably not say that but <laughs> but yeah uh this was made in about 2006 i mean genion dubbed this not funimation so yeah uh they hold the license but they are not the Come dubbers where the heck are okay we going? uh did I forget to mention that Fu's face in this game is like a porcelain doll? onto a ship promising you free food. You were the first one to set foot on that ship, Mogan. True. If something sounds too good to be true, it's likely a trap. It's a trap. Serious trap then. We've company. Huh? Delayed reaction. Who the hell are these guys? Can't you tell? Can't you tell? Look at them. They're ninjas. You want to know what clan they're from? Well, you'll find out in about 10 minutes or so. <laughs> what was that sound that he just... Oh my. Oh. Yeah, but seriously, uh, this is what gameplay amounts to. Like, okay, so, the thing on the top is your combo, obviously, your combo meter. The things with the one and two, the purple boxes or whatever, those are your music tracks. So they give you certain buffs and stat boosts or whatever. But yeah, you're gonna need, long story short. The thing in the top left is, you know, obviously the heart is your health, the sword is your dur durability, which you will never see because I don't get the chance to buy swords and switch them out. Well, I have swords equipped, of course, but I never switched them out in this one because it's like, there's this OP sword that has horrible durability that I don't use other than like on bosses. So the bottom left is like the dancing man thing. That is your hype gauge, essentially. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> I love a powerful man. Oh, the wonderful scent you have. You know, this shouldn't be happening in Edo era Japan, but you know, magic exists. It just something exists with like these chicks, Wh witch chicks for some reason. <laughs> Do you have any idea how long I've been waiting to meet a good, strong man of blood? Hmm. Man of blood. What you trying to do? 
You belong to me now. So do as I tell you. How about no? That's a snake. Yes, this is happening. Florida had a seizure. That that's that's what snakes do when you swallow them. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a horrible way to go out. <laughs> like, you could literally just call it a game over right then and there. It's over, he's dead. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> but no. You you thought that was over. You thought you thought that was the end? <laughs> of course, the game has to keep going. This is based on an anime, so you know. Can't really kill off characters. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, seizure warning. What you just saw, there's a literal seizure warning on the front of the freaking manual. That is how crazy this game is. <laughs> Wait, Jesus Christ, why don't I tell you this game is a cluster? It is a, ooh, it is a cluster. Wait a minute, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. The Slim PS2 happened in 2006? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I swear to God, it's every time I open up a game manual, it always has the Slim PS2, the not the big the one. The have granted to foreigners. Okay, the this Matsumai... Land in the far north has become a champloo of a community. That is On the clan day, that these ninja belong to that we fought earlier. Strut down these streets. But there is a meager resistance brewing <sighs> the people who are oppressed by the Matsumai. <sighs> they are from the old blood of this region, the native inhabitants of this ancient land. By the way, this, this makes no sense, regime. given the context the of the show, pillaged, but we're just going to have to run with that. Just, just, just take they it. Are on the verge of being driven from the sacred lands where the souls of their right. ancestors dwell. Thanks Wait, to their frequent me. guerrilla strikes and the clan's close-knit ties, only the Tsuromaki clan remains, continuing to mount a desperate defense. No, no, no. I lied. This is the a Tsurumaki clan has left war that we fought exhausted. earlier. As the current leader of the Tsurumaki clan, he can no longer conceal the fatigue that is taking over his tired body. Wait, no, no, I was wrong. That was the Fate Matsumai the Tsurumaki clan Tsurumaki that we just fought because Warso is the dude the that walked up to Mugen while he was laying on the ground. Like <laughs> See, this story is so strange and out of place that even I can't remember all these parts about it. It's it's really weird. <laughs> like, I'm pretty back, sure you already right? seen the other video He's that I did okay, with like Jin's side of the story with the giant bear or whatever. Yeah, that's the final plan. boss of his. It's entirely possible that he froze to death. What? Are you also, serious? Uh, apologies if I'm talking you over agree? these cutscenes, but Trust me, there are, there are people with... Well, there aren't many people who've done playthroughs of this, He'll actually. <laughs> as far as I know, Rising Jericho is the only one that has done a full playthrough of the game. As far as I know, so yeah. I'm sort of taking some things from him when it comes to this. You know, he talked over the cutscenes, he didn't really stay quiet at all. It's more interesting to give tidbits about the game, <laughs> but you know, because I don't know a lot about you know Samurai Champloo, I can't really say anything you about this. You know, like I know about the mechanics, but I don't want to give that away because let's say I figure out something and I manage to get the game working to where I can record. Well, that would basically give me nothing to work with or talk about. You know. You gotta love that fire. That Someone weird fire in like how Warso's headband is like a separate object just like apparented to his head. It's just like 
snap Japanese. on there. It's just like, Are you from the yeah, well, we got this character model. How about we slap this other asset on top of it? Anyway. <laughs> there are several myths that have been passed down around here. Yeah, but One is about a man that comes did I ever get to mention that Fu looks like a porcelain doll? Looking like her face is... Ooh, ooh. Well, oh, let's see how I can move a muscle. You might as well tell it to me. I ain't got nothing but time. But let me check who developed this. What am I talking about? Let me check who developed this. I, I just said earlier that it was developed by Grasshopper. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm an idiot, and it's early in the morning. I just got up. When this battle over blood and land is finally through, three saviors will appear. They will be in the form of one Pikta man, a Sisan man, and a woman in search of a man who smells of sunflowers. When these and elements eventually how in the world did Warsaw place, find out about this? I don't know. It was some random person story. until we get to that point in the story, which we will never get it's to. Some moral lessons <laughs> handed down from the past. They serve as a path for those of us living in the present to follow. Oh crap, I forgot. Samurai Shampoo had a manga. Sorry, dude, but I don't get it. The past's the past, you know? That doesn't mean squat to me right now. It's very odd. For some reason, when I talk to you, I feel a little better. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I don't have sympathy or anything like that for you. I'm just surprised how tactless you are with your honesty. Uh. Oh, yeah. You're going to have to the Samurai Shampoo to manga was done by that? Tokyo Pop, That's I believe. I do. Or I you can do, like... This. Bandai's What's publication this? of the manga. It's Why am I talking about the Samurai Shampoo manga when I should be talking about the right game? Right Jesus Christ, I am did, I would kill off you. top it. So I suggest you take good care what of is? until we meet again. What? Don't you try and threaten me. <laughs> I'm I reading through the freaking manual. Rest. I'm finding this crazy stuff. You stay here <laughs> really? It, it, See, you see, this is my problem with talking in post. I have no material to work with if it's not Naruto of all things. So it's like, I'm just sort of scrambling around, reading manuals, looking at cases, everything but the game. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, if I had other people here, like it was lock on comms or something, it would be tolerable. But it's just me alone rambling about crap. This is, this is mostly why I like to record in real time, so... If I do Kingdom Hearts 2, as far as playthrough go, this is what it's gonna be like. <laughs> you know? I guess you didn't and he totally just, like, oh, cut through that snow. Happens. I'm in the mood to cause a little pain. Show me what you got! <laughs> and my PC died, so you couldn't see that battle. This is literally near the end of the stage. So, look, look. This this game is insane. So what I'm guessing is the jumping man and as well as the dial on the top right was screwing me over because that is what you do for your combos or whatever. It checks your score. It checks how many Kobans you need for Koban gates, which you will not learn about until, you know, we eventually see one. But unfortunately, I won't be able to record that long. So, yeah, you're not going to see a Koban gate to know what those are but um hyper mode am i gonna use this no i'm not but that that is most likely what will murder my pc that's the koban gate right there okay okay i lied so the kobans are what you use in hyper mode after you kill people and you gotta pay them to get through mike tyson over here so okay that's it so 